We're going to talk about rearranging formula, and the question here is to make pi the subject. So that means you have to isolate pi. So please pause the video and try it on your own. Okay, so here's the question. We want to get pi by itself. In other words, we want to say pi is equal to this. And I'm sorry, but not about the my phone is kind of going haywire right now. But the first step is you want to factor it. If you factor out pi, then you're left with this. I try to color code it to make it easier for you to see. So we're left with this. I factored out pi. And now it's just a simple division problem. So we divide it. And here's what we're left with. So pi is equal to a over 2r squared plus 2 pi, sorry, 2rh. By the way, a quick fun fact, this is the way you find the surface area of a cylinder. Circumference of the, sorry, two times the area of each base plus the circumference of the, of the base. This one is a little bit more challenging, but still, I, I hope you can try it on your own. So please do that, pause the video, and I'm gonna go through the process. Okay, there's more than one way to solve this problem, but I, I went ahead, I did it this way, because to me this is the easiest way. And I multiplied the whole thing by r. Okay, if we do that, this is what the first step is. And now we have r over r, r over r1, r over r2, and that's gonna, this is going to cancel. So we're going to be left with 1. I try to take this step by step because this one is confusing. Remember, we're solving for r. So now we need a common denominator. If we get that, we're almost there. So multiply the top and bottom. Here we're going to multiply by r2. Here we're going to multiply by r1. And here's what we're left with. And we can put it all over one denominator. And now we can, we can factor out the r. And then we factored out the r. And next, where did I put that other piece of paper? I think it's, it's here. Next, we can cross multiply. So here, let me go back here. So here's what we got. We're trying to get r by itself. So I'm, I'm going to multiply the top by r1, r2. And then I'm going to divide both sides by r1 plus r2. And here's what we're left with. And there's a solution.